All right, guys, we are almost at the lookout point. Christian. Good morning guys, it is day two of vlogging Van City and you are looking at two very tired vloggers. We got like four hours of sleep last night, but thank goodness the Burrard Hotel is hosting us. If it wasn't for them, we would literally have about an hour commute this morning, so it makes things a lot better. And the Burrard even has complimentary bike service. We are venturing off into North Vancouver, so we're gonna get on the Lionsgate Bridge. We've arrived at the Capilano Suspension Bridge and only one minute late. But we forgot jackets. Yeah. It's like slightly chilly here. It's a few degrees colder than Vancouver, usually North Van, and it yeah. rains a lot more as well. It so does rain a lot more. Beware in the winter. It's just closer to the forest, I guess? I don't know. No, it's closer to up north. Yeah, slightly. So, maybe and it's elevated. Altitude, yeah. I don't know. All right, so Stacy has let us in early. Laura, where are we? We are at the Capilano Suspension Bridge, North Van. And we have it all to ourselves, other than that guy. <laughs> so this is not Laura and I's first time here. We've actually been here probably about three or four times now. But every time you come here, it is equally as beautiful. Yes. This here was actually built to access a dude's summer home. So we built this massive cable bridge. If you guys remember me telling you that I lost an entire vlogging series of Montreal and Quebec City because a drone crashed. Well, it, it crashed in a uh, dam, which is not too far from here. So theoretically, my drone, or my friend's drone, and the memory card inside of it should be down there somewhere, never to be seen again. And sometimes you'll actually see people coming down here on kayaks. Is that correct? I'm gonna hold that comment. Towering, can't stop me now. My fly brought me back down. Landscapes a perfect town. So I didn't have my coffee this morning, but I'm feeling energized after I almost just lost my camera and Laura's mic. We're set up on the bridge here. The public is now allowed on the bridge, and so people got on the bridge, it started shaking, and it was pretty high up on the tripod, so the center of gravity is like way off the ground, and it was enough that the tripod, we're like taking a time lapse. Laura, <laughs> and all of a sudden it's like, no! Laura and I look at the camera, and it's like, yeah, slow motion. <laughs> no, the camera on the tripod, like, like if it was, if it, if it was, if it was higher, it would have gone over the bridge and landed down there, which, you know, not ideal. But luckily, it hit here and then kind of rolled on the gate and hit the ground. So that like actually stopped it from falling straight onto the ground, which would have been way more devastating. It seems like it's working now. The mic also seemed like it wasn't working, but the battery popped out, so we are good to go. So this is a beautiful spot if you want to come for a date or just Definitely. by yourself or basically any yourself. situation. A date with yourself. The bridge shakes a lot when the shoe on it. Look, see, this is just me. Yeah, well, don't um, do that. Yeah, pressure. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on tight. So we are now at part of the bridge called Cliff Walk, and it's really cool, but better than tell you, we're gonna show you. It's very narrow, so we've actually been instructed to not use the tripod, which we're okay with after the previous incident. Yeah, after almost losing a camera. Man, that would have put a damper on the day, and on the series. So you're clipped in to that cliff right there, holding on for dear life. If that gives out, then, well, you're going down. And right there, that's the Capilano Suspension Bridge, where we just were. I love this lens. And it just keeps going. Mini waterfall. Right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is the cutest little waterfall I've ever seen in my entire cute little life. I'm just like flabbergasted by BC. It's actually one of the most beautiful places on the planet. There's so much nature that we haven't even explored ourselves and we live here. Get out and go exploring is the moral of that story. High five, my 
Because this morning's breakfast is nothing crazy. We're gonna share some traditional Canadian food with you at one of Canada's favorite fast food restaurants. T there it is, Tim Hortons. This is where pretty much all Canadians come for their fix of coffee and sometimes a breakfast sandwich. All right, just about 15 minutes up the road from Capilano is gross. Now the most important thing about vlogging is to make sure you have a slave that can carry around your equipment. I'm cold. <laughs> it's not cold at all. Being overworked. <laughs> when I come to Grouse, I typically come here for one reason, and that reason is right there. That is the beginning of the Grouse grind. Essentially what it is, is it's like doing the Stairmaster for an hour. It's just straight up vertical. Like it's more of a path than just going through the forest, but it's very difficult. I think my best time is like just under 50 minutes and that's not very good but if you're looking for a good workout come do the gross grind today we're not equipped for it we've got tripods we've got stabilizers and massive backpacks we're gonna take the lazy man's way we're going up by gondola yeah yeah <laughs> I was gonna, I was yeah, I was gonna tell people <laughs> good good contribution this is why I keep her I was gonna tell people gross grind is incredibly Tiring. Don't, I'm still talking, guys. There she goes. There Gross Mountain Gondola goes again. Oh. Move away slowly from the mountain lion. Oh. <laughs> mountain lions like cats. They want to attack someone who doesn't know they're there. If you know they're there, they're a whole lot less likely to attack. I'm not, if, you, if there's a mountain lion, Christian. Want to be in the video? Oh, yes. This is Ainsley. Hello, nice, nice to meet you, Ainsley. You. I'm a big fan. That's awesome. Heaven, don't shoot me down. Because I see it. Heaven, don't shoot me down. All aboard. Grab onto the balls for safety. Heaven, don't shoot me down. Because I see it. Heaven, don't shoot me down. That was me every Monday morning until I quit my job. <laughs> I don't want to go! <laughs> Alright guys, this is Bear Grylls here. We are just in the midst of hunting down a grizzly. A giant one. I'm right on its tracks. Now based on my tracking knowledge, it seems to be a polar bear. That's why the tracks are white. Polar bears are very aggressive. You're embarrassing me. The last time I got close and up and personal with a polar bear was 2011. I almost lost my arm. Sorry guys, bear girls just grabbed my camera and ran away. Anyways, back to the vlog. Um, this is normally snowed over in the winter and so if you notice right about up there, one of the great things of living in Vancouver is that we have three local mountains. All of them are pretty decent. An hour and a half from here, you have Whistler Mountain, which is a spectacular world-class ski resort. I'm assuming the polar bear has taken its kill. Found the polar bear. <laughs> the bird just ran away. Well, flew away. Didn't run. Didn't run away. But... It's Mandy the seagull. Holy! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's a peregrine falcon. I gotta stay. So the peregrine falcon can dive as quickly as 390 kilometers per hour. He likes to go high and he likes to range out. If you get the right winds and the right heat, he's been gone for hours before. <laughs> so right now she's going to look for one of the birds that left during the demonstration. I don't know how they find it. It like goes in the valley there somewhere. All right guys, we are almost at the lookout point. Christian. All right guys, so I got something to confess. The opening scene was fabricated, but this is a PSA. Don't trust everything you see on the internet. So right over here is a bear enclosure. So I think there's two bears in here. And these are not just wild bears, these they were actually bears. rehabilitated bears. So if you guys are thinking, oh, it's not fair to keep a bear in here, I agree. But at the same time, these are bears that would not have survived out in the wild. So they're being helped here in this gross mountain enclosure. 
It's Kula, and what was the other one's name? Grinder. Grinder. Oh. Look at him. Oh, wow. This is the closest I've ever gotten to a bear, by far. Oh, look at his teeth. Guys, look at this. How beautiful is that? Oh my gosh. They're looking at each other. Look at they're showing each other love. Crikey. Give him the chair. Wow. <laughs> they're literally putting on a show. Oh, you can ask for a He's getting a little aggressive. Oh my gosh. Oh. The battle's raging on. Oh my gosh, they're going at it. Wow. Oh my god. A little concerning at this point. All right, guys, break it up. <laughs> That's that one of so the coolest cool. things I've seen. Apparently, it's the only time they've wrestled this year. So we saw like a once a year thing and happened to catch it all on vlog in Van City. We are just catching it all today. They're giving us the works. 850 pound to 1,000 yeah. pound bears. So how big is a bear really? I'll give you some reference. That's Kola, Kula, and then that one right there is a polar bear. Like that is like, Laura, stand next to the polar bear. The polar bear is like twice Laura's height. Could eat her in a bite. We are going for lunch at the bistro on the top of the mountain. Grab some lunch. Wow, that's the table. Thank you. Look at that. Over there, if it wasn't so hazy, you'd see Vancouver very clearly. You gotta work with what you got. You can see some of the apartments and skyscrapers right over there. Check that out. There's a hang glider down there. Only one way down the mountain, and this is the lineup. Oh my gosh. Stop trying to touch my hat. It's no, my style. My <laughs> Anyways, I... Grouse Mountain was amazing. Really nice way to spend like a full day if you come by North Vancouver. And it's only about like 25 minutes outside of downtown, so easy to get here. They even have shuttle services running here. Check out Grouse Mountain, guys, if you're coming to Vancouver. It's a must. We're doing like a behind the scenes vlog, so if you want to check that out, it's on the secondary channel, link down below. We've arrived here in beautiful Lynn Canyon. And one of the things about living somewhere is that you stop appreciating certain things because you come accustomed to it. But one of the things that people are so blown away by when they visit BC is our trees. I mean, look how beautiful and tall they are. Here is Lynn Canyon Suspension Bridge. Far smaller than the Capilano one, but this one is free. And right below,
kudos to that guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you would never see me doing that. If you're big into hiking, BC is your place. Unlimited hiking trails. Huh. That's, that's promising. how not to fly your drone. The satellite is not working right now and because the antenna broke, if I lose reception with it, it like won't know how to come back to me and I'm like in this really like foresty area. But sometimes you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. Canyon, it's been good. Let's go. We are in beautiful West Vancouver and the sun is just setting. So right over there, that is the Lionsgate Bridge. And we took that bridge this morning to come over here. So this has been like all, everything north of Vancouver. From West Vancouver to North Vancouver, that's what today's been all about. I have never been to this beach like ever no. before. We are basically imagine that island over there is Vancouver. We're everything to the south of it. So Laura and I don't frequent the north too often. So for us, we're exploring with you guys. Yeah. It's been a really cool experience to come up here and get to check it out. Look at that mountain range. Somebody is making a neck sharks, I think that's what they're called, when they stack the rocks. Eric and Karin, chilling here, West Van, represent. We are right now in Park Royal, which is a very affluent area. This is West Vancouver, where some of the wealthiest live. And they've got their own beautiful little shopping area out here. Look at all that stuff. You got a Maserati, you got a beautiful Ferrari, and a Honda Odyssey. Look at that, oh wow. Okay, 2014, oh yeah. Can you say hi to the vlog? Hi Can you say hi to the vlog? Hi! Oh. Grandma and grandpa having a turkey on your feet. This has been my wallet for so long, you guys. Look at it, it's got like an imprint of a toonie. And this is the flaps. Sure. Almost showing off my credit card, just taunting you guys. I like small wallets. Right about now, it is becoming evident that we've slept about four hours last night and I'm getting really tired, but we're not done yet. We've got one last thing that we wanna show you and this isn't just in North Van, it's in fact all over the province and it's slowly spreading throughout Canada. This is a restaurant that Laura used to work at. So we are currently at Cactus Club and it is one of my all-time favorite restaurants. I actually used to work here for four years, so. It's arrived. It's arrived. The fajitas are super, super good. Right now, we're heading back to the Burrard Hotel. We've got one more night there. So excited to go to bed. That building right there is where I used to work. I was on the 23rd floor, probably in around there. All right, we are back at the Burrard. Look at this place. Look at that door. Today has been an unbelievable day. Day number two of vlogging Van City, and I think day number three is probably going to be the highlight. You'll see why tomorrow. Can't wait to share it with you guys. 
In the meantime, I'm going to bed like immediately. It's 9 p.m., but I'm just like so ready to pass out. Huge thank you to the Burrard Hotel for having us. If you guys are staying downtown Vancouver, I couldn't recommend a better place. Please leave the video a big thumbs up, and I put in extra effort. If you guys really like this video, you have no idea how much it means to me when you share the videos. Have a good night, guys, and let's get lost again tomorrow. Bad things happen, and you can't do anything about it, right? Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them.